Hello, hello everyone. It's me, your boy, and I'm back with yet another video for all of you. Now, have any of you noticed recently that nearly every Xenoverse YouTuber has become very clickbaity? They've become so much bitches with the clickbait. And so recently, I clicked on a Steedoge video, and I'm not going to disclose which video it is, but it pissed me off so much, it inspired me to make this video. But before the video starts, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out, and subscribing is just free. But, let's just start the video now. Okay, before you start raging at me from the comments for insulting your favorite YouTubers, hear this. I have nothing against them. I don't personally know them. But I hate their content, and how they make their thumbnails. Super saturated. Burgle is really guilty of this. He makes the same old content, the dumb trash talker videos. Hell, he even repeats videos he's already done. His newest video as of now is using full power Jiren. And he's already made that video two separate times. And all three videos are exactly the same. He does this dumbass thing where he titles his videos so long that the notifications say something like Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 video new awoken update but then at the end it says something like build or speculation or whatever. But I'm going to list off 30 of his uh, recent videos, 30 of his somewhat recent videos uh, that are filled with clickbait garbage uh, titles and uh, thumbnails and all of that. See, I was a Burkle fan, but then I realized that his content is super lazy and repetitive. His videos are so obviously fake. It's ridiculous! There's no way that there isn't a single trash talker in his videos that's good. They're always so terrible. Burkle never loses in his videos against the trash talkers. Unless it's laggy, or he makes a mistake. It's never his opponent getting the best of him. But there was a time where his videos were real. Like, four or five years ago. Those trash talkers were real. And nowadays, it's just people that Burkle pays to fight him. Or it's just his subscribers pretending to be haters or trash talkers. But look, I get it. He has bills to pay. And uploading normal Xenoverse content isn't going to pay the bills. But it gets to a point where it's too much. People like C-Reacts do make non-modded videos, and they're entertaining as hell, especially when Dotto and Rhyme is in them. Burkle is bad, but at least he tries to be entertaining, unlike Slow Plays. Slow Plays is actually terrible. Actually, actually terrible. I would rather do the Zamasu Mentor quest a thousand times than having to sit through one of his trash-filled videos. He does exactly what Burkle does in his videos, when he's clickbaiting. But so, so much worse. There's no redeeming qualities about Slow. All he does in his videos is showing ugly ass mods. He puts no effort in making good content. It's just the same boring lazy videos. I was also a fan of his. But one of his videos just pissed me off back then. And I said, screw you, and screw your channel, and screw your videos. I don't even remember what his videos are like, but I know they're garbage. I'm not going to subject myself to watching them again. When I see his thumbnails, it makes me angry. Like a bull when they see red. And then there's Lord Paragon, or other people know him as Super Tachi. But I'm not even going to open that can of worms. That might even warn itself a video of its own. And that's going to do it for today's video. Did you guys like it? If you did, make sure you like the video. Subscribe too. That will help me out and my channel. Also, it's free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.